million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways. see the world when I want to, when I want shopping to. sprees when I want to, when investments I want to. with interest a show do, that'll do, $5,000 on the hotel stay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ziggy Show. What's up guys, how you doing? Guys, it is day two of Feet Week. Exactly. And what do we have? Take a guess, guys. Come on. Take a guess. <laughs> well, I'm sure they already know from the title of the video. Chicken feet. And I would probably say these are like your, your favorite feet, right? Oh, yes. Well, besides yours. Oh, yes. my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really, really loves him some chicken feet. Yes. Um... And these are done, these are coconut curry chicken feet. Um, his favorite is just the curry chicken feet with, um, with rice, yes. right? Two people in the world know to make it delicious, the best of best throw down, her and her mom. <laughs> Nobody can make it better. <laughs> well, thank you for that. My mom is like the OG at making the chicken yes. feet, yo. I I'm still learning. I'm like, uh, mom, can I have some chicken feet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, and this is my first time actually doing it with the coconut uh -huh. to make it a coconut curry because I, I like the, you know, the silkiness of mm. the coconut. So we're both having the coconut for the first night, first time coconut curry. But yeah, on the side, another of his favorite. You can put your bowl up there. What are those? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm back down. Brain fart? You yeah. Could yeah, you got fries. <laughs> oh my gosh. He requests yuca fries all the time, but I don't yeah. really make them that that often. But um, yeah, so that's what we have on deck today for feet. Oh, you're just dying to dig in, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's still steaming hot. You can see the steam yeah. going up from it. Go ahead, dig in. All right. Let them know. Guys, if you guys love this, if you have, ha have tried it, let us know what you think about it. If you have mm -hmm. haven't, why not? What are you waiting for? I mean, chicken feet, it, it, you know, a lot of people are scared of it just by the appearance only. The first thing comes to mind is the nails. You know, there's no nails. You, you got to take them off. Yes. Some how people don't know how to prepare them and cook them with the nails. Mm -hmm. You, you got to cut the nails off. Oh, it's spicy. Please go. <laughs> Yeah, you got to make sure you cut the nails off. If you prepare chicken feet for me and you serve them with the nails, I'm not eating it. But um, if you don't really know much about chicken feet, as I said, it's kind of another ethnic, mm -hmm. you know, type thing. It's eaten a lot in Asian cuisine, like, you know, Chinese, Filipino, they eat it. And also Caribbean, Jamaica. Because before I met her, I never had this. New oh, you never it. had chicken feet before you met me? No. Oh, wow. Never heard of it, nothing. <laughs> well, I'm sure you know chicken have feet, but yeah. not that people were cooking it up. <laughs> yeah, they eat it in the Caribbean. I know not all Caribbean islands, but Jamaica definitely. Um, Trinidad as well. Because you're um, not going to see this in an Italian menu. Not an Italian menu, yeah. no. <laughs> and most of the food not. from Argentina come from Italy. Yeah, that's true. And with the chicken feet, guys, there really isn't much to it. It's just, you know, <clears throat> basically bones. Mm -hmm. and skin and you know collagen that's it yeah like the tendons that's really it there's no muscle there's no meat so you just it's, suck it yeah it's really great for like bone broth um and things like that and for soups because of the collagen mm -hmm. that's in it look look you can show them the tendon right there mm -hmm. and that's the stuff that's really good for your skin you know like the keep your skin nice and fresh and supple and you know mm -hmm. taut and stuff like that so yeah let me give her a try. And I served her up with um, the sauce because I like mm -hmm. the the gravy and to put my yuca fries in there. I probably went a little overboard <laughs> with the spice, didn't I? <laughs> mm. Delicious. Mm. It's really soft. Delicious. <clears throat> yeah. And I mean, it's full chicken feet. It's sort of protein, you know, potassium, to be honest, calcium. I haven't seen it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if a restaurant does this. It makes this like, you know, like it's... Um, if you go to like an Asian restaurant, um, you know, they have dim sum 
and stuff like that, they do serve it on. I've never seen a Caribbean menu. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, in Brooklyn, we're from Brooklyn. I've never seen it in a menu, any of the restaurants over there. They all put it in soup. Really? Yeah, oh. sometimes, but very rarely. Mm -hmm. um, I Let's think maybe because, say. you know. No, don't get in the sauce. They probably don't want to scare people off. I mean, this is the Caribbean. Yeah, that's true. Like in Brooklyn, you know, where we were living. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, it's not really seen on a lot of Caribbean restaurant menus. I'm not sure why, but... Wow. This goes together. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's great when you dunk it in, right? And yeah. The yuca absorbs all that. Dunk it into that curry juice? Mm-hmm. Mm. And the crunch? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Mm. Perfect combination. Oh yeah. Perfect combo, guys. Don't mind us if you don't hear a lot of talking. Cause yeah, not today. We gotta eat. Mm. Gotta have my feet, feet. <laughs> Guys, don't be scared. No. I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bones, so you're going to mm -hmm. see us spitting bones out. He doesn't chew his bones. I like to chew them and suck the juices out. Mm -hmm. It's an island thing. Because <laughs> mm. I discovered a lot of things with her family. <laughs> People eating, chewing bones. I never seen that. <laughs> We don't swallow the bone, but... I don't know. I haven't seen it, but... <laughs> Shut up. You spit it out, but... Um, comment down below if you like to gnaw and chew your bones, guys. It's delicious, because... Especially when you're, like, braising a meat, and it's cooked in a nice sauce. All that sauce gets into the bones, and you just want to suck it out. You know? <laughs> what? Get your mind out the gutter. Stop sucking out things in the seat. Get, get your mind out the Get your mind out the bones of a chicken feet. Stop Boy, it. Man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And guys, this is not something that you're going to eat with a knife and a fork. No. No. <laughs> Please. You'll have a hard time trying to do it. Yeah, it's not going to work out for you. Let's be prepared to go a little bit messy. Think about it. I don't think I haven't seen any YouTuber do chicken feet. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm mm. sure. I'm sure someone has. Mm. It's so good. Oh yeah, this guy. His name is Ziggy. Really? Nah. I think this is our second time doing chicken feet, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The first time we did chicken feet. We first thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I did it cooked in the V Love Smackalicious sauce. Oh, yeah. And man, was that good. Mm -hmm. Wow. You guys know that when you make that Smackalicious sauce, it makes a lot. So, enough for like four seafood boils. Mm -hmm. So, you always have sauce left over. So, I knew that was going to happen. So, I didn't like serve it all up the first time. I just took out exactly what we needed for our seafood. And you know, set aside the rest and the leftover sauce a couple of days later, because that the B Love sauce gets better as it sits. I just cooked, braised the the chicken feet in the sauce. I needed to had I added no more seasonings, nothing else at all, and oh my god, it was over the top. Yeah. But this is over the top as well. <laughs> mm. Especially with this gravy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And traditionally, we, um, at least in Jamaica, I know, we would serve the chicken feet over rice. Oh, all the sauce and the gravy gets poured over. You know, when, go, when we do go back to Jamaica, mm -hmm. I want to make sure, you know, go somewhere and try this. See what I'm saying? Like I said, we haven't had this in no restaurant. Only have it in your, with you and your mom. But here's the thing, though. It's not really, even in Jamaica... You're gonna have a hard time finding it on a menu. Ooh. It's it because it's so humble. It's more of a home cooked meal. You no, know, it's kind of like what some refer to as peasant food. 
Mm -hmm. It was so hot. Mm -hmm. So hard to snatch it out of the sauce. <clears throat> So, in Jamaica, you'd probably have to find someone to make it for you, you know? You're going to have a hard time going into a restaurant and seeing it on the menu. Wow. It's one of those things people make at home. Mm. This one, one of the foods, the beautiful, I just felt totally in love with. Like this and porridge, like these, these you know, run down. These, you know, <laughs> some of these foods are like, ah, oh, wow. Tell them what porridge is. A lot of people may not know. It's it's different. Porridge is kind of like I would say if you have to compare it to something American, like oatmeal, in a way. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. But much more high, delicious to the highest level. Mm -hmm. There are different kinds of porridges, guys. But I keep telling him one day we should do a video. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> the one that he loves, that he's head over heels about, is the cornmeal porridge. That's what he likes. He could have that cornmeal porridge for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. But not all cornmeal porridges are created equal. True. Everyone doesn't make it the same. Yeah. And it's so fitting. Mm-hmm. A little goes a long way, right? Like, these bowls we have here are pretty small bowls. They're, they're probably, like, about, like, five inches across diameter at the top. They're pretty small bowls here, and a bowl of cornmeal porridge this size, you you might not even be able to finish it. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Oh, see what you're doing there. You're letting your yuca sit, marinate. I think I need the whole thing of myself. <laughs> We're having lemonade. Guys. I'm being nice. So I'm sharing it for today. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sharing with me. After all the hard work that I put in, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -mm. Yes, um, guys, as I was saying, we're having some nice fresh homemade lemonade. Yeah, homemade. Nothing but a homemade. Nice and lemony. Uh -huh. Made by your truly. We have a garden of lemons outside. A garden of lemons? <laughs> You got jokes, eh? Guys, have you heard? Um, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about, well, not this particular story, but just reading the story had me thinking about something in particular of like, you know, doing good or like doing a good deed. Do you usually, you know, keep it to yourself or do you like post it on social media and let it be known? What, what brought that to mind was there's a story out where... Shaquille O'Neal, he was in Zales, excuse me, the jewelry store, minding his own business. And then a guy, a young man comes in mm -hmm. and asks one of the attendants, um, you know, he's checking on an order that he has for an engagement ring. Um, apparently he's, he has it on layaway. So he's been doing down payments and he just came into the store to ask what his balance was to finish paying off for the ring. And Shaquille overheard this conversation and he turned around to the guy you know and you know asked how much was left on the ring and whipped out his yeah. i'm assuming his amex black card <laughs> and just went ahead and paid for it you know and basically said that you know he just wanted to do a good deed his whole thing is to try and make people happy so he tries to do a good deed every day He's always been that. Yeah, and that, you know, he does this all the time. Mm -hmm. When you, To me, when you say you, you do this all the time, it's kind of like a humble brag. But in any event, um, he did that. But he says he didn't want the story to come out. Oh. But it came out because there, I'm assuming someone in the store might have been filming. Yeah. And it got posted somewhere on social media. So the story came out according to him. Um, so that's why he's now talking about it on the news. But it ha it got me thinking, like, because I've seen mm -hmm. where, like, some of my Facebook friends, yeah. you know, if they happen to, like, give a homeless person $5 or, you know, they pay for someone's meal on the store, they feel the need mm -hmm. to post it on, you know, social media, like, oh, I did this to this person today. My kind of thing is, like, if you do good and you're doing it from the goodness of your heart, 
you don't really need to, you know, broadcast it and, and put it on social media. What do you think about that, about people doing it? Do you think it's okay if someone shares a good deed that they did for someone or should they just like keep it to themselves? I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. I can understand you don't want to brag at me like that every single time. But I mean, it also depends on friends. If you something you feel, wow, you know, I, I felt good. And, you know, I, I, if you could tell me for somebody in the street and you see the prince reaction, like, you know, that I've been touched to, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with me sharing it with the world. I guess. I've done that before. I used to work, I worked at places where there was so much left over. I used to spring, you know, and, and give it, you know, people, in the, you know, who you need on the, in the tray or somewhere. You know, and you see their reaction, the way they say thank you, they make them feel good. Mm -hmm. So you want to share. Sorry, you want to share with people. I guess. <laughs> Guys, comment down below and let me know what you think about the subject matter. <laughs> And also, this is so good, guys. Are you gonna? I highly try recommend some you guys feet. try this. I highly recommend mm -hmm. you guys try it. I dare you. Yes. Giving you this one. See that? If you need a um, recipe, if you want to know how to, how to put it together, Google. Hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Google. I'm kidding, guys. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> hit me up on IG. For a good cause. <laughs> hit me up on IG. I'll let you know. This was cooked entirely in um, the. Instant pot. 30 minutes in the instant pot, you've got perfectly tender and delicious chicken feet. And then if you want your sauce to thicken up a bit more, you can just pour it in. Um, if your instant pot goes on the stove, then great. If it doesn't, then you transfer it to another pot and you just let that sauce simmer mm. for like five, 10 minutes until it reduces and thickens up on its own. This takes a lot of napkins. Plus, after you finish eating this, make sure you wash your hands real good. Because and brush your teeth. From the, the stains, the curry stains. Well, not just that, but your hand. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I remember just taking it to work after, you know, for lunch. And after, I'm like, oh, man, my hand's like yellow. <laughs> yeah. That happens when you use a good quality curry powder. Mm -hmm. So, again, make sure you use a lot of napkins and wash your hands afterwards. With soap. Yes. Really good. Because they and say water. that the curry stains your hands. For at least 30 seconds. <laughs> You guys, try the traditional way with, um, you don't have to do my way with the coconut sauce. Because traditionally it's not with the coconut. It's usually just like a regular curry. But I decided, you know me, I'm extra. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you can try it over some nice, you know, buttered white rice. And definitely try these, um, yucca fries. Mm -hmm. if, or you can try any type of anything you can... Mm -hmm type of fries or anything you want to eat you're into and definitely don't, don't get into the sauce yeah delicious you can do Steak you can number. actually if you're unable to find yuca either fresh or frozen yuca because these are frozen yuca it's fresh it's uncooked it's raw but it's it's a root vegetable that's kind of hard to peel and break mm. down so lovely goya <laughs> mm. they have it um already peeled and broken down in large wedges in the frozen section but you've got to cook it yourself so I had to say, if you're unable to get a hold of yuca, mm -hmm. this would be great with potatoes. You could oh, like yeah. get some nice russet potatoes and cut them into thick wedges. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't do fries. I would do wedges. So you, you see like he has his sitting there and just soaking up mm -hmm. all that, those juices. Yeah, just kind of like par cook your potatoes, let them cool off, you know, and then just fry them crispy. And guys, comment down below. Let's see who can guess what would next feat would be. <laughs> if you ever guess the, the, the next feat correct, mm -hmm. we'll get a shout out on, on, the, on our next video. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Come on, I, guys. I'm, I'm going to guess what the next feat is going to be. Yeah, guess. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. This video is getting kind of long, and mm -hmm. we've got like a lot of feet here. Mm -hmm. We're never going to get to the bottom of this. Mm. I guys. feel like mm -hmm. I could just like put this bowl up and drink the... The sauce. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> the sauce is like so good. Mm. <clears throat> you could probably like turn this sauce into some sort of coconut cur curry soup of sorts. Yeah, I cut you off. What were you gonna say? <laughs> Guys, we love you very much. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're getting on. <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in to 
to Fee Week. We got one more video for Fee Week. Mm -hmm. If we can think of any other feats, or if you guys know of any other feats we can pr bring to you guys, yeah, there, there, there are other, there are other feats you know, out more. there that I've been looking for, yeah. but some of them are kind of hard to find. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's not a lot of <clears throat> purveyors out there, or stores, yeah. or online sources to that you know sell feet. And then if you do find them, they've got like a huge minimum order. Yeah. Like, I'm not running a freaking butcher shop, you know. Sure, sure. So, um, we're doing our best to find as many feet as we can for you. Yes. Uh, we are starting to go live about once, maybe possibly twice a week. Please stay tuned to our Instagram and our community board on um, YouTube. We'll be notify you as soon as we decide what day and what time. We'll be hitting you up live. <laughs> so, guys, we love you. Please don't forget to share out, share us out to everybody. Let everybody know about the Ziggy E channel. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below because we want to hear from you. What do you guys about think about feet? <laughs> have you have tasted these? Why not? And what feet do you think we'll be having on our next video? If you get it correct, you will get a big shout out. All right. That being said. Until next time. Hasta la vista. Yes, mi gente. Viva, viva mi gente. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go Zig. Go, go Ziggy family. Go, go feet Ziggy feet. family. Oh yeah. Go get feet. that chicken feet. Go feet. Uh -huh. Go. Uh-huh. Okay. Oop, can you get it? Can you get it? Twenty million dollars. Twenty mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both.